It goes without saying that Final Fantasy IV is a fantastic game. I'd say out of the classic Final Fantasies, it's probably my favorite. The game has spawned a sequel called The After Years, as well as a remake for the DS, both of which are pretty awesome in my opinion. But the game we know as Final Fantasy IV was almost called Final Fantasy V, and the game that would have been Final Fantasy IV? Well, unfortunately that game is doomed to obscurity. So today on Gaming Mysteries, I'll be talking about the unreleased Final Fantasy IV for the NES, or Famicom. In the early 90s, Squaresoft's Final Fantasy series was a huge success. After spawning three successful games as well as saving the company, the public wanted more, and so Squaresoft began work on Final Fantasy IV for the Famicom. At the same time, the company also began work on a Final Fantasy game for the upcoming Super Famicom. This game would be called Final Fantasy V. And so their plan was to release Final Fantasy IV on the Famicom and Final Fantasy V on the Super Famicom, both games apparently to be released in 1991. Unfortunately, Squaresoft wasn't really a powerhouse back in the day, and due to limited manpower, they had to cancel the Famicom project and focus all their efforts on the Super Famicom project. Final Fantasy V for the Super Famicom was renamed Final Fantasy IV, and it was eventually released and given much critical praise. Now before Final Fantasy IV for the Famicom was cancelled, it was discussed in a magazine article in Japan. As far as I know, this is the only time the game was ever talked about back then. The so-called preview of the game held the only known screenshot of it, and boasted that in Final Fantasy IV, the job class is back, with even more classes including a magician, priest, cook, and carpenter, among other jobs. It's been said that the article was merely speculative though, because according to a Squaresoft employee, the game never made it that far into development. Now according to the Squaresoft employee, the screenshot was made up, and that the preview wasn't really a preview, and that it was just presuming what the game would be like. He went on to say that the decision to change Final Fantasy IV from a Famicom game to a Super Famicom game came early on, and that no actual coding for the game was done, it was only on paperwork. So there it is, the tale of a Final Fantasy game not meant to be. In a way, I'm not really upset, I mean, the Final Fantasy IV that we actually got was great, so I can't really complain. But I can't help but think that we missed out on something potentially great. I mean, he said that the game was only on paperwork. Well, did they have a story yet? Some characters in mind? I'm not saying that he's lying and that this is like with Star Fox 2 where they pulled the plug on a finished game, but I can't help but feel like this is the lost Final Fantasy. The entry in the series we'll never get to play. I guess all we can do is wonder what could have been though. This has been Gaming Mysteries, thanks for watching.